So today we're going to talk about tocotrienols. Now, what are they? They're, they're part of the vitamin E complex. In nature, vitamin E has about eight different parts to it. Okay, Half of it is tocopherols, and half of it is something called tocotrienols. And the different names um, of tocopherols would be alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Same thing with tocotrienols, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Okay, The Greek word for tocotrienols comes from tokos, offspring, furrow, to bear, to bear children because of its effect on fertility. Okay, Because if you're deficient in vitamin E, specifically this part, you're going to become infertile. 95% of the studies done in vitamin E run to cofferols, not on tocotrienols. Okay? And this is why in the news you see this interesting data about high doses of vitamin E increasing your risk of all-cause mortality, basically telling you, stay away from this because it's going to kill you. Well, what they didn't tell you was that they're using high dosage of synthetic vitamin E, which is alpha to cofferol. They're not using the natural source. They're not even using tocotrienols. Now, this data that I'm showing you is based on this quite amazing book called Tocotrienols Vitamin E Beyond Tocopherols. Okay, this is all the research done on tocotrienols. It's quite utterly amazing. So I'll touch on this in a little bit, but I wanted to cover a couple things. Tocotrienols has some very powerful properties that tocopherols does not have. Number one, it has neuroprotective factors. It helps protect the nervous system and the brain against oxidative damage. Number two, it has anti-cholesterol properties. In fact, uh, tocopherol has even been shown to increase cholesterol, whereas tocotrienols actually can help lower cholesterol. It also has other benefits like cardiovascular benefits. It makes the arteries less stiff. It helps make your liver less fatty, improves the skin, and improves hair growth, prevents sterility, and it also protects against stroke. Now, I want to show you something in this book, which is quite interesting. Um, back in the 30s, uh, the Shute brothers, which they had a huge clinic, they're medical doctors, uh, and this is based on 30,000 patients, okay? And they were, they were mainly studying uh, vitamin E um, back then. And I want to just kind of go through the benefits that they mentioned from vitamin E. And I'm talking about the whole complex. 1936, improvements in angina. That's chest pain. Okay. 1940, fibroids, endometriosis, atherosclerosis. Uh, 1945, hemorrhages in the skin, mucous membranes, and decreased requirement for insulin. Interesting. 1947, therapy for gangrene. Because Gangrene usually comes from necrosis or breakdown of the tissue from uh, diabetes because you're having this oxidative stress uh, affecting the circulation. So uh, because vitamin E is such a powerful antioxidant, it has the potential uh, as a therapy for gangrene. Um, 1948, lupus, shortness of breath. 1950, varicose vein benefits severe burn benefits. But I want to read you something else because they were highly criticized by mainstream medicine back then. And I want to just uh, read a little quote. Um, it says, it was nearly impossible now for anyone who valued his future in academia to espouse, that means support, vitamin E, prescribe it, or advise it. That would make a man a quack at once. This situation lasted for many years. No amount of documentation could budge medical men from this stance. Literature in the positive was ignored and left unread. Individual doctors often said, if it was as good as you say, we would all be using it. Okay? So this is what they were up against. Of course, we're still up against that. But the benefits of taking the complete complex are immense. Um, Anti-cancer properties, anti-cholesterol, very powerful antioxidant properties. Tocotrienols are 50 times stronger than tocopherols, especially when you're dealing with the oxidation of iron in the body. It creates immune improvements. It's anti-tumor, supports the cardiovascular system, antimicrobial, and the list goes on and on. All right, guys, so what foods are high in vitamin E? Of course, the nuts, the seeds, uh, fish, 
uh, egg yolk, and especially leafy green lettuce and other vegetables. All right, see you later. So I wanna thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.